everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and we are playing some Fallout 4. Now, we need to go talk to this Adokata, which I believe is actually in the back way from where I was going. Oops. <laughs> we're going to go talk to this doctor. And we're not going to get murdered by super mutants, because that would be a bad thing. We don't want to get mur murdered by super mutants. We just want to stay away from the super mutants. We want to go find our son. What? Oh, hi. Get Rex. Bonk. But we do have some dudes in our way, it seems. We're gonna see if we can just sneak by a lot of them. Um, kill him! Critical! Boom! Aww. That wasn't as awesome as I thought it would be. Damn it. Die, please! You are a strong dog, this is hardly fair. You are a strong puppy. I'm just gonna do this. Oh, balls! Who is it? Okay, where are you at? There you are. Hi! Time to murder your face! Bonk! Bonk! I'm gonna miss every shot, aren't I? Bonk! Can't see. Now I can see! There we go! Wait, what? Uh-oh. You get off my puppy kids! Uh, I am. Do I have any? I've got some bubble gum and a Nuka Cola. Nuka Cola! Uh, reload faster! You know what? I don't like you. You get to die now. Just murder his face! Please! Fine. Let's go for the big guns, and we'll take Shepard. Now entering Shepard! The badass move, Eris! I should have paid attention to my health, I didn't, and I died. That's gonna happen a lot, guys. I'm gonna die a lot. Partially because I'm not walking around with the power armor like I probably should. So it did come to my attention that there is a fat man and a whole bunch of awesome ammunition back in the fort where we met Kellogg, behind that locked computer screen. We don't really have the computer hacking skills. We might now, because I do have another rank in it, but I'll have to remember to go back there at some point, probably off screen, and grab myself a fat man. That sounded really weird. Okay, let's try this again. Gone all the way. We're coming with. To... Here! Because we need to go find my son, and we need to save my son. The Stringer is a rare custom made weapon that can shoot modified medical syringes and enemies suffer the effects of whatever chemicals in the syringe. <laughs> oh dear. Then hopefully that means there's bad chemicals, right? Because it probably wouldn't make much sense to shoot somebody full of jet, unless you're shooting them with enough jet to murder their faces. Which is... Well, so skeletal gen 1 to the advanced gen 3, so gen 2 would be Nick, I'm assuming? Or is Nick like halfway between gen 2 and gen 3? He's like the, the missing link between the two of them. Either way, we like Nick, so hopefully he doesn't get, you know, forcibly reprogrammed to murder us later on, or has some kind of hidden subroutine that gets activated that also leads to us having to murder him. Because we like Nick. Nick is cool people. Game, please finish loading. I'm asking nicely. Thank you. Okay. This way! Let's go the correct direction this time, from the get-go. We've got a different chest play, but that's about it. I still want to keep wearing the Vault 101. One, one, one. Just, it almost said Vault 101. Uh-oh. Right, row Get wrecked, puppy! Hit him, hit him, freaking hit him! Thank you. Ow! Douche! Douche! Hi, how you doing, douche? Get wrecked! <laughs> Red feral ghoul is wrecked! Nothing. No one's here. Lies and slander. Murder the puppy. This is a strong ass mongrel, holy crap. 
Die! Off my dog! Uh oh. Not me! Uh, I'm using the wrong gun. I should be using Shepard. I'm not, so let's murder this dog. Bonk! Bonk! How are you still alive? No! Translation! No! Um, iguana bits, use of cola, let's have a purified water. There we go. Okay, that did not just happen. Hey, let's get up, you're fine. You've also got armor now, so that's good. Um, let's use Shepard for a little bit. Ooh, what's this? Yoink. Anything here? No. Hi, dog meat. You're a good puppy. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this mongrel meat. Hope you don't mind me cannibalizing your uh, brethren. Well, not cannibalizing, cause I'm not a dog. But you're a dog, and you're my friend. Doom, doom, doom. Come on, puppy. Eris. Eris, get your butt over here. <laughs> Come on, puppykins. Okay, we need to use a rat away anyway. Rat away. Eris. Whoops. Nothing. Eris, come on. No one's here. You heard and saw nothing. Okay, I like in this game more. Everything's in like this industrial ruin when you're in the city areas, and it just looks so much more realistic than the ones in uh, three. Oh, can I sneak in through this way? Maybe. Okay, now I'm getting a little bit further, so I need to be on the other side of this wall. I'm assuming. Great. Now I figure out how to get on the other side of this wall without getting killed. Brad's. What? Whoa! Hi. Murder! 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 Actually, you know what? Run. Lies. Run. 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 Yep. Eris, come on. Eris, come on. Running away, Eris. You see nothing. Balls. <laughs> like balls, they're still here. Um. G -g game, game, game. Game, I'm stuck. Game, I'm stuck. Game, I'm stuck. Run! 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 Eris, come on! Come on, puppy! Come on, puppy, we got this! Come on, puppy, we got this! Oh, dear. So let's keep going this way. Just ignore the dog and ignore the everything. Ow! You stay away from me! Die! 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 I don't like you! I break your face! Ow. What? Hi, how you doing? Hi, how you doing? Kill it! Murder! Thank you! Jeebus. Nothing! Nothing! No one's here! Lies and slander! No one's here! No! No! No noise! Oh dear. <laughs> Maybe I should have killed them. I probably should have killed them. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Kill it! Murder! Murder everything before it murders me because that's the way that we run. Where you going? I hide him. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, I don't like you. Boom! Okay, Eris, wherever you are, you should probably get over here. Just saying. Oh, god damn it! Run! Run! Shut up, nobody cares. Good neighbor! Stay fair, mister. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Run! Nobody, nobody, nobody sees me. Nobody sees me. 
The Gunners are the Commonwealth's most organized mercenary group. Unscrupulous and highly skilled, they take any contract if the price is right. So I should hire them and then teach them the amazingness of being awesome and to be good people so then they can guard my settlements for free. Right? Hi, puppy. Hey, hold up there. Who the fuck are you? First time in good neighbor? Yep. You can't go walking around without insurance. Nah, I'm good. Insurance? Insurance? That's right. Insurance. Personal protection line. Nah, I'm good. over everything you got in their pockets. Ha! Or accidents start happening to you. Ha! Big, bloody accidents. Not happening. Someone's Hancock! The first time they're a guest. You lay off that, that extortion, extortion crap. Hi! You're a ghoul and you look awesome. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let him go. Soft Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Maybe I'll shoot you in the face. How about that? Me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. I know somebody named Finn. Bye, Finn. Naked. Breaking my heart over here. You all right, sister? I'm fine. Hi, how you doing? Uh, ghoul. You, you're a ghoul. That's right. Like my face. Hi, how you doing? I think it gives me a sexy king of the zombies kind of look. Big hit with the ladies. Listen, Thanks. A lot of walking rad freaks like me around here. So you might want to keep those kinds of questions on the low burner next time. Sorry, I've never you met one that has been trying to kill me. For the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Thank you. Good neighbor. That what you call this place? That's right. We cobbled this little neighborhood together out of the freaks and misfits that just wouldn't be accepted anywhere else. Because <laughs> everyone's criminals. <laughs> make enough friends here. You'll call this place home soon enough. So long Kay. as you remember. Charge. And that's you, right? Mayor Hancock. Too bad about Hancock. Gonna miss him next Super Mutant attack rolls round. Oh well. Thank you. What can I do for our newcomer? I'm looking for something. Looking for work. Work, huh? Might as well get a quest. I'll tell you what. I got reconnaissance needs. There's a lot okay. of weird talk coming in about a place called the Pikmin Gallery. Okay. It's raider territory up there. So I need to murder them. Quiet. Like uncomfortable post coitus quiet. Ew. Put it out and give me the word. Uh. I might be interested, but let's talk money, Hancock. Okay. Yeah. Two hundred, but I like you. So let's push it to two fifty. Uh. You said things have gone quiet up there. That means extra risk. Negotiate! I like where your head's at. Yeah! <laughs> caps. Let's not. Let's push it. Let's push it. Let's push it. Let's it. I'm out. Ruthless. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I actually live long enough for me to pay you. All right. 400 caps. That's all the town coffers can bear. Let's do it! Hickman Gallery. On it. Cool. Be thorough, okay? I'm not paying for a look-see. Find out what's really going on there. I'll do it. Just for you, but for now, I got a quest to do. Let's put my gun. I like being ruthless. It gets me experience points. <laughs> Memory den. Let's go talk to what's her face and the watch midget so we can give him a give them, him, them, whatever, a piece of Kellogg's brain so we can figure out where the institute is. Because I'm going to go there, we're going to find my son, and we're going to be a big happy family again. Minus my husband, well, because well, he's dead. Ooh. Mr. Can I, like, have all this? I want it. I thought you had forgotten about the lonely. Hi, Valentine. Hey, Nick. Hmm. Let's go talk to Amari. Amari She's right here. You big flirt. <laughs> you big flirt. Can I, like, have all your chairs and stuff? I kind of want it for my, for, for sanctuary. Please? This? Here we go, Nick. Okay, well, I'll just follow you, I guess. <laughs> I'll come after you. Don't worry about it. You big flute. <laughs> That's cute. Doctor Hi. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. No, not even a little bit. 
We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. But he's dead. But he's dead. I know. By the way, wait, am I gonna get my son's memories? Am I gonna before see my son? The impossible before. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. Yes. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Um... Please? Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. Please? This Pretty please? This brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this. And so do we. Yeah, what he said. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? We have part of it. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... This isn't a brain? That's the hippocampus. And this thing is this the hippocampus? A neural interface? I tore his hippocampus out. Circuits well, part of it, because that was only nowhere. one part of the hippocampus. And not besides what, whatever. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Okay. Get the science go on. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. Okay. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. What are we doing to an Nick? Incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. We like you, Nick! Will it work? You really think this will work, Nick? No idea. But we got a missing kid on the line. That's worth the risk. Nick is MVP, guys. Nick is MVP. Sit down. If I start oh, dear. Cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Okay. Let's see. What are these for? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. You need to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense Nick. of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. Of course they are. The I don't know what that means, but okay. Last fail safe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. So, is Nick okay? Is Nick gonna be okay? Yes, the connections appear to be stable. Hopefully, it'll be as simple as unplugging the implant once we're done. Unless he turns into Kellogg. On the current problem, the memory encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? What's your plan? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory lounger. Oh, that's why there's two of them. Cognitive functions in parallel. Okay. We'll act as a host while your consciousness drives oh, through whatever oh. memories we can find. Oh no, we're gonna see our son, aren't we? Oh. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Let's get started. Let's Just do it. Just stand there and keep your fingers crossed. <sighs> Crossing them. My legs are crossed. My hands are crossed. My soul's crossed. My arms are crossed. Okay, let's see if we see our son. I've got a really weird suspicion we're going to see our son when we do this. Because if we're going through his memories, he's obviously going to have some memories of our son. Hi. Oh, we got air sitting there. Hi, puppy. Hi, puppy. Most adorable dog ever. The host. Okay. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. <gasps> it's degenerated, but it's there. Oh, oh, what is it? Into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Okay. Is it Sean? Puppy! I hear the puppy. Wait a minute, I hear the puppy. Strongest memories we can find. That's probably when I murdered him, right? Um. Can you hear me? Hi. Ah, good. The what simulation the? appears to be working. What the deuce? The memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the instant Am I in his location. brain? Where am I going? Whoa! There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Oh, hey! Oh my god! <laughs> By the goddess. Ho bejeebus. Okay, I am currently inside Kellogg's brain.
Oh, this is his dad. This is Kellogg's dad. Oh, dear. You are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. Oh, hey, I'm invisible. This may prove disorienting at first. You don't say. Okay, what do I... Oh, I have to click on it. I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? <laughs> I think now. Did he get kidnapped and taken to the institute? I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. Okay. He's talking he about his mom. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in her way. Okay. And she protected me from dad. Where's my son? <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. Okay. People always hoping for something better. I usually end up with something worse. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run hey! one of the Raider gangs, but I never really knew this what he did. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. You no, don't no, say! There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. And in what? Am I gonna have to go through his teenage oh, years? Was... All the awkward pimples and stuffs? Wait a minute, what? The thing about happiness is <gasps> you only know <gasps> had it when it's gone. Oh, he had a kid. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No. I Oh, he had a kid. I never deserved her. Not for one second. Oh, boy. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. <laughs> if she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub. Maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. That would probably help, yes. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. So I'm guessing they're both dead. It's gonna be fun. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Okay. This is really weird. Can I fall off of this? That would be bad. Where's my son? How did Hi. you think this was gonna end, Kellogg? Okay. <laughs> Wait, are there sense of his family? You just fuck with us. And oh he no. Fuck with you. Oh no, he's gonna come across his dead just family, so isn't he? They died like dogs. Oh. And you. Dicks! Weren't there to help them. Is this how he got his scar? Scars? Yeah, that's a lot of killing people. I found another memory to try. Okay. Th this is all very compelling, but where's my son? <laughs> that's what we're here for. We're here to find my son. This is really trippy for a Fallout game. Mind if we... There's always someone who wanted someone else dead. Okay. Sometimes just roughed up, but... Uh, so his family got killed. usually what they wanted. Which sucks. Sometimes they thought they could cheat me. That was usually only when I first Our arrived tender. somewhere. Didn't matter to me. They just took it as part of the job. Okay. A little extra thrown in for free. Cool. I always got paid in the end. Are we done here? <laughs> One way or another. Where's my son? Sit down. Suit yourself. Something really bad's gonna happen here. Mind if we sit down and that guns? So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? Are you guys from the Institute? Oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. Well, maybe with one or two other people. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. Okay. Oh, no. Let me guess. He's like, I don't do families. Oh, I was going to say, wait a minute. He's like, no, no, no. We don't do families. Moral code and shit, cause he did, he could have killed me, but he didn't. He totally should have, but he didn't. That's the thing. Mr. Why? Hi. Whoa. Sup. So, you're with the institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. That's a lot of sense. 
We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive. Haha! <laughs> so he was against the Institute? This must huh? stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. Then you hire me instead. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. Aha! Uh -huh. Yep. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. It's like they have a lot of lasers. Very well. B-748, initiate. He's like, no, no, I don't think you understand the situation you're in, dude. <laughs> wow, get wrecked. And I killed him. It just took like 20 tries. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. <laughs> this woman has He's no... This woman has all the chill. So much We're chill. Out of brain here. Ah, there's one that looks mostly oh. intact. Connecting now. Son! Son! Oh my god. I'm in here. Oh dear, I'm in one. Cryopod. Find it. Find it? <gasps> my, my husband! Primary subject? Backup subject? That's me! Why was why was primary subject? What's that even mean? I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it. <laughs> I'm not saying I haven't done it. I never liked to. Okay. But it was better this way. Better than taking his kid and leaving him alive. So killing him was better than leaving him alive. But you left me alive. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving her alive. You don't say. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft pre-war vault dweller. Even if she somehow got thawed out. Which I did! At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. Damn straight they will. If she could take me out, they won't be able to hide from her for long. We'll get them. And we'll get my son back! My son! My son! The eggheads never like taking orders from a dirty, contaminated, degenerate like me. <laughs> but they needed me. And I made sure they knew it. This is the one. Why was I a backup? What are we backups for? Oh, what is going on here? I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest of them. But we had our orders. <laughs> I guess the old man didn't want so many loose ends. But I'm a backup. Why? Too bad why was I a backup? Alive, the one person he shouldn't have. <laughs> cackle, cackle, cackle. Nate! Nate! I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't Sean. usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. They didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Why is my baby glitching? Not really. How is my baby glitching? Okay, there we go. That baby still looks fake as shit! She, she, douche nozzles! I never knew why we didn't just refreeze uh, the rest of them. No, we've already heard this one. But we had our orders. Nobody cares. <laughs> I guess the old man didn't want so I'm, many loose uh, ends. I'm sorry you had to go too through that Too bad he left alive the one Me too. person he shouldn't found have. found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Is that your son? Wait, what? This appears to be a very recent memory. Where? So, 
Good news, I think. <gasps> Sean! It wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was Sean! a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so. Pet here we projects? Were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. You killed his father! I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. Okay. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. How much did they tell Sean? This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Who's this old man and can I kill him? Please. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Huh? Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. Bait for the friend from the vault? I wonder vault. if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. I'm bait? Wait, Sean's bait? They wanted me? Why the hell would they want me? Why not just take me when they had the chance? Kellogg. Except oh, hey. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. The fuck are you? The new breed of synths could easily pass as He's human. a synth! So we need to so find this guy. Did. Okay. But the coursers... Oh. They weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines. Pure and simple. That's not good. Smarter, stronger, and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. Until? Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? What's going on? orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Who is it and where can I find them? Left. As in, the Renegade! He mentioned something in his files about it. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. Brian Virgil. We'll have to find him. He's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. The glowing sea. Okay, good. That's all we needed. Sean! Wow. Baby? Some heads are gonna roll for this. Sean! Capture and return? Baby? Just elimination. Elimination. Sean's just listening to all this? Kinda! You raised my son, you dickwad! No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Ooh. Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Yep. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? <gasps> Wait, what? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Taking okay. him home to his father? They brainwashed my boy. They brainwashed my boy! Oh, we are going to have so many words. We are going to have so many words! Ready to relay with Sean. They they kept his name Sean. Those dick marks. Yep, I murdered his face. <laughs> Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the institute. Because there is no... Yeah, because teleportion makes total sense. Let me pull you out of there. As soon as you're ready. Okay. Ha! Pull me out through the television! <laughs> Woo! Well then. So? My son? Thinks the main bad guy, at least I'm assuming that's the main bad guy, is his father. Unless the main bad guy is actually Nate, and the Nate that was in the cryostasis kind of was a synth. Did I check for that? Or maybe the main bad guy is a synth of my husband? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Yeah, look at Nick. Let's pull that implant out, please. We will in the next video, guys. My name is Miss Scarlet Teacher, and I have been playing some Fallout 4. I'll see you all in the next video.